You're watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. Well, you heard how things will get a bit wild this Saturday for the Topeka Zoo's 90th birthday. Ballet Midwest will be part of the fun. Their artistic director, Lacey Sandgren, and dancer, B.B. Riley, are here to tell us how they will be involved in the festivities. And this is exciting. We're going to hear who B.B. is in a moment. But Lacey, what is what you are calling what you're doing at the zoo on Saturday? Yes, we are so excited to partner with the zoo for their 90th birthday. It's so exciting. But we are including our wildly creative event into their celebration celebration, which this is our third annual wildly creative event where we set up craft stations all around the zoo that um, the children get to create and take mm -hmm. home with them as well as having performances where we're having both uh, dancers from Valley Midwest doing different animal dances or at the zoo as well as Topeka Civic Theater's freshman class will be uh, performing there as well. Well they can dance if they want. They can dance if they want. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not as well as you BB. So what your costumes are actually representative and perfect for the day. So what are the costumes going to represent? Who are you? Yes I'm playing the bluebird. The bluebird. Yes and we have the little swans will be there. We have the white rabbits, uh, we have a butterfly who's coming, and we have a deer too. That's exciting. So how did that all come about? I mean, are there like logical dances that fit into the costumes or is this something that you guys brainstorm all year long to come up with the wildly creative thing? Um, both. Some of them, like this one is from a particular ballet. This is from Sleeping Beauty. Uh -huh. We have stuff from Alice in Wonderland. We have different things like the little swans are from Swan Lake and other ones are pieces from different ballets that we've added an animal twist to them. Ah, well yes. that's exciting. Have you <laughs> done this event before? I have. Okay, yes. so you're used to being on a stage with spotlights, very controlled environment. <laughs> How is it different dancing in a zoo and why is it fun? Oh, it is so fun. It's so exciting. I'll be doing a piece and then I'll look behind me and there'll be a lion right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite an exciting thing to see. It's very different from the normal stage lights. It's yeah, it's very fun. It's very exciting. How does this add to the experience that you can bring as a dance instructor when the teach when the when the, the dancers are in these different environments? Yes, it's a great learning experience for the dancers to be able to dance through anything. Um, even yes, the the tiger sneaking up behind them and watching them as well. It's always so fun when we dance at the zoo. We usually get um, the monkeys lined up there watching us as well. But it's a really fun for the young audiences for them that maybe can't sit through an entire performance. They get to be uh, in the open air versus yes sitting in a theater and getting to to see them just in a different way where it can still introduce them into the arts but not uh, maybe in quite as a controlled of environment. Did you ever have trouble sitting through a whole performance BB? I maybe got a little sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> a little sleepy. So and, and how is this uh, fun for you to interact with perhaps you know the zoo audience is maybe going to be a little bit younger than those who might see you in a, in a formal theater so how is this fun for you to meet some of the younger people? Yeah it's very exciting because it's a lot more one-on-one -on -one. I can go and they're so excited and they come up and they're just looking at all the bright costumes and they see all the dancers up close it's very exciting to talk to them, say, what's your favorite animal? And they're just so excited to be there. And they get to see, there's some of them, it's their first introduction to ballet. And it's just so exciting to see how amazing it is. It's their first time. It's really special. OK, how old were you when you first saw your first ballet? I think I was three years old. How did that inspire <laughs> you? Oh my gosh. It, I just knew. I saw it and I was like, I want to do that. I want to be up there. I want to be dancing just like them. They were just so, so she's beautiful dancers and I thought it was just so amazing. And full disclosure, we do know that your parents are involved in the theater, so it's not like you never saw theater before, but it's interesting to hear what inspired you in your own unique way yes. to follow this path. It'll be a lot of fun. How many dancers are going to be involved, Lacey? Yes, we have about um, 20 dancers involved between all the craft stations. We're doing a scavenger hunt where they get to take home a stuffed animal at the end of the scavenger hunt. So that will be a lot of fun as well. Well, it is fantastic to see how all of you from Ballet Midwest really are partnering with the Topeka Zoo to be involved and add to the birthday fun. If you'd like to see the wildly creative activities that are happening during the Topeka Zoo's birthday, those will be taking place from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Saturday. The performance times will be at 9.30 and 11.30. Do you have specific locations in the zoo? I will be Camp Cowabunga. Camp Cowabunga. Check them out. Again, free admission to the zoo on Saturday. BB, pleasure seeing you. And Lacey, good to see you again yes. as well. And we are starting to feel those temps creep back. Back up.